This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So today, we're gonna be bringing back a series that is actually very, very old on this channel, and has only actually ever had one video on the channel, and that was quite a while ago. So, today, we're gonna be bringing back the Budget Loadout Challenge, and I'm on the wrong page of my backpack to show you this. So, here is basically what I'm going to be using, and I'm gonna be going against a fellow YouTuber who's probably already in the title, and that is Dicey. If you don't know who Dicey is, he makes training videos, he makes other types of videos, uh, yeah, they're very good. Go and check them out. Like, seriously, go check him out. And his link will be in the description, stuff like that. So, basically, what this challenge is, is to basically make a loadout for the pyro. I let Dicey choose, and he said pyro. And, yeah, basically, you need to make a loadout for a certain class with one, with one key. And that's where this 29 ref comes into play. I mean, I could have just used the key straight away, but the first trade would have been me selling it for this ref anyway. So, I've just kind of gone with the ref straight away, and we're gonna be hopefully making an awesome looking pyro loadout. Now, there are actually quite a lot of challenges if I just get the page up right now. Basically, this is the same as it was last time. Nobody really suggested any changes or anything. So, the challenges for the cosmetics are that all painted items, if you have painted items and they're all painted, you get four points, and if you have three different colors, you get an additional two points, on top of that four. So even if you have three different painted cosmetics, you have six points, which is actually pretty decent. For the weapons, one strange weapon is two points, one vintage weapon is one point, and one genuine weapon is three points. So that is a lot of points you can get from having three genuine weapons, I don't know if that's even a thing, or like three strange weapons. So that is also pretty good. And for these slots, you have all of the slots filled. So if we look onto this loadout here, we have all of these filled, except for the action slot. We're excluding that, but that's an extra point. So you should be able to fill all of that in anyway, even if you're just buying a weapon for a scrap or whatever. And if there is a theme that you can see and that you can make up and the other person believes in it, then you get an extra two points. So, I mean, that's pretty decent. Obviously, there's gonna be two different ways to win this. One, you have the best looking set and the audience votes you as the winner. So, at the end of this video, you guys need to say who you think was the best looking set and that person will win that prize. But then, obviously, if you get the most amount of points, you also win. So, I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do for my pyro set. Apparently, Dice's already finished his, which uh, I'm a little bit worried about that, but yeah, anyway, let's get into us actually making these sets. So obviously I'm gonna be starting off with this plain loadout. Now, what my kind of plan is, is to just go for cheap hats that can be painted. I'm thinking maybe just go for all of the cosmetic points and all of the weapon points as well, and then I get the slot points also, but maybe not, not the best looking set, quite honestly. Um, I'm trying to think of a combination of hats right now, but I'm thinking maybe if I can get a bot killer for the flamethrower or something like that, maybe that would be quite good. Then a strange fire axe is kind of cheap anyway. And then I don't really know what I can do for the shotgun. If I'm looking here, maybe a vintage uh, flare gun, possibly. I'm not allowed to use my own things, by the way, else that would be a bit unfair. But yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully some of this stuff's quite cheap. And then for the hats, I think I'm just gonna get a load of painted stuff, throw it all together, <laughs> and see what I can come up with. So, let's go and have a look around some trading sites, see what I can find. Hey guys, my name is Alex, or as you may know me, Dicey, and welcome to my part in Spiky Mikey's Budget Loadout Challenge. Obviously, this episode we were going for the Pyro, as my main is Pyro, because I'm a scrub, and um, yeah, so the first trade that we got was for a uh, which is 28.88 ref, I sold uh, my key, because obviously there's a budget loadout for under a key, to the highest paying bot, which was this Sunjar one, it was like one of the like, quick ones, like it would recognise your offer and if it fit the bill it would automatically accept, that's what it did, it was a quick trade, 
this is something I want to say. I did forget, because I'm an idiot, to record a couple of uh, trades. Um, I forgot to record a trade for a man called Orange Headwarmer. But I paid for six refined for it from a guy from uh, TF2 Outpost. So, yeah, here's just a photo of the fact that, you know, I did make the trade. It is legitimate. Um, I didn't, like, fake it or anything. I don't know why I even would fake it. There would be no use. But the next trade we got here was for a... Um, vin no, it was for a strange wartime warmth for 13.22 refined. Don't know why I keep saying refined. Um, I uh, got this one because it was the cheapest sort of nice looking um, strange pyro cosmetic that would go with the sort of theme I wanted to go for, which is winter, because my last name is Winter. I know we're in like supposed to be in summer at the moment, but you know, you know, I could do a winter set if I want to. Um, the first, this is the first trade for the first weapon. It was a vintage back burner that I got for 0.88. Obviously, you can see that I overpay sort of ref, but made up the sort of weight and change in scrap. This trade was for a genuine Neon Annihilator for 2.11, but I did the same thing with the Vintage Backburn as it didn't have exact sort of change within the realm of 2.11. So I paid three and just made up the the rest in scrap. Um, because, you know, uh, uh, the bot would eat up the rest of my ref if I didn't. Um, Pretty annoying because it is only one point. It is only one one. But here we got a uh, strange detonator. Here's a picture of a trade. Obviously, I did forget to record the trade, but I did obviously not forget to record me receiving that. item. it was one point eight eight from stntrading.eu. So repping the band f brand for you, not band for you, Mikey. This one was for a flammable favor for four point three three, which is the last item I got. Um, it was, I was going to buy it for 4, but um, the guy in Outpost that I was going to buy it from um, didn't like respond to any of my messages and was offline for like 2 days. So, you know, there we go. We got it in game, and as you can sort of see in this showcase of everything I got now, um, I wanted to like see uh, how much I could get for my key, so I got a painted cosmetic that also went really well with sort of bobble on the wartime warmth. And also the wrapping on the flammable favor, so I think I made a good choice there. Um, and then I also got a strange um, uh, cosmetic, which you know was something different. And then a tiered cosmetic, which was the flammable favor. It is from the Smithmas 2016 crates um, and um, is commando grade. Um, I could have got a strange one, but it was like 7 ref, and obviously that was the last item, so I had to make do with what I had. Um, and uh, with the weapons, I got a vintage, a genuine, and a strange. Um, not in that order, obviously, it goes vintage, strange, genuine, but you know. Because uh, I wanted it to sort of be like like the cosmetics, where it's like different. Um, I don't want to say like... Um, Qualities, it is qualities for the weapons, but obviously not for the um, hats, because only one is technically a quality, the others are just sort of aesthetic or as name differences, like different colours and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty proud with what I got for one key, um, and I did even have some change left over, I had 0.55, it was one wreck and two scrap change, so I'm pretty proud of that. But yeah, um, I'll see you in the next. So the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is looking on stntrading.eu. I know, yeah, it's a sponsor. But basically what these guys do is they don't actually charge anything extra for paints. So here, there is a Blizzard Breather or a Winter Wonderland Wrap. I always get that one messed up. So that's only three ref. I don't think they've added anything onto that. I don't know. Oh, okay, they have. I think they've changed it. Either way. 3 ref for that is still pretty decent, it's got a paint on it as well, and, you know, I can, you know, save some stuff there. Yeah, they have started adding paints onto it. I remember before they didn't, which is why I was kind of thinking that this would work, but I think that Blizzard Breather is a pretty decent place to start with. Possibly, we can buy this cute suit as well. 
So that's about 10 ref of our stuff gone. And we still have to get some paint for that. And think of what hat to put on this as well as those two. Maybe a brown bomber. I think that I think that would work. I think we've got the, the set right here. But do you know what? I'm going to buy it, see what it looks like, and then just hope to God that it looks decent and then we can get paints. Oh, I looked at the wrong thing, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, it is still three ref, so we are getting that paint for free. I'm an idiot. Um, so I mean, that's a pretty good deal. I don't know if Scrap.tf actually do do the thing where it's like, yo, that's the only good, bro. Um, I know you can paint the Sengoku Scorch, but we've already got the set ready. I'm just seeing if there's anything better in Scrap.tf. I don't, from the looks of it right now, they don't have that great of selection. The thing is, most of you won't have actually heard what the hell I've just said, because I've just cut it all out, because I'm just talking rubbish for so long. Um, I'm just hoping that this actually does it, because that's a decent set if we can get that. Because it's got paint on it as well, and that kind of leads the way for making more, for getting paint with, uh, you know, different colours. Too bad I don't actually have an extra paint in my inventory. I just heard the trade-off a noise. I heard it, I don't know if this is it. Is that it? Hey, it is, awesome. So we just gotta remember it takes 12 ref. I have put, the problem is with my backpack, it's so messy all of the time that hope, I don't think STN's actually gonna take the ref from the back of my inventory. I severely doubt they will. Okay, so they are taking it from there, that's sick. I actually really like how they did that. I mean, it must just be luck, I guess. I still don't know if the Black Brown Bomb is paintable. I don't have a spare paint to uh, do some experiments with, see if it worked or not. I don't know. We have a painted item anyway, and we also have a reclaimed left, as well as, you know, all this ref here. So now I think we should probably focus on some of the wep. Any paint? Any paint at all? I have all of this, oh, okay. Use with. Yes, you can paint it, sick, okay. I'm not gonna use my paint, obviously, because that's cheating, and it won't fit the theme at all, but awesome, we can paint that, and we got it for 1.55. I don't know how we're gonna stretch the rest of this budget. I've messed up, I think. I might have messed up a little bit. Um, but here's, oh, balls, it conflicts with that. Oh no, I'm, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I've messed up, boys. I need to swap that cute suit for something. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We've lost a little bit of profit there. Uh, <laughs> um, damn, dude. What would go well with that? Like, maybe like a Smithsmith sweater, something. I don't know. Okay, we're going to be poor here. We're going to be so poor now. I didn't realise just how little... It's been a while since I've done this, and it's like, I completely forgot how difficult it was to actually make a set like this. So a lot of the rest of my clip was just me freaking out, trying to get the weapons, and then I managed to get a few paints. So I am just gonna skip to the end. I did not spend anything extra in my budget. It does all fit in, so I'm not cheating, okay? Believe me, I'm not cheating, but I just wanted to skip all of this because it would take forever. But as you can see here, even metal that didn't get taken out the right part of my backpack, I did put back and I painted all of them and here is the set that we ended up with. I honestly think it looks pretty cool. I don't know what Dicey's was at this point that I was making it, but I also saw that there was a genuine Neon Annihilator in there that would get me more points and I could actually afford it for two ref. So I managed to pick that up as well, but I don't think we're going to be counting these strange home wrecker points because I mean that would be a little bit unfair. So now that both of the sets are complete, let's go and see what Dicey set is and count all of the points up. I think I've right. done a pretty good set, in my opinion. Okay, okay. We'll see. See you also, we'll see. Oh, we both went with the... <laughs> we both went with the... the uh, oh god, I didn't know, so on different teams. Alright, so you've got... I, is that the uh, little, like, I don't even know what that thing's called. It, it's the, the head warmer, the wartime warmth and the flammable fever. That actually you looks pretty cool. The wartime warmth, though. It looks better when it's on red. Well, mine is brown bomber, winter winds land wrap, and the sub-zero suit. I'm surprised you got the, um, not on the winter wind land wrap. 
I found oh, it. Well, I found it painted as well. So I yeah, no, my sense. my head one was painted uh, orange because it fits with the weird bubble on the top of the wartime one. Oh, yeah. It looks much better on red, but you know, <laughs> apparently found that. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, trust us. Well, it's what it normally is in the loadout screen, so. And then yeah. I, I got a vintage back burner, a strange detonator, and a, I think it's genuine nine annihilator. Alright, I got a strange flamethrower, a strange man melter, and a genuine neon annihilator, <laughs> but I also bought a strange home wrecker. So I don't Why? know if we're counting that. Because I bought, I bought the home wrecker first, and then yeah. I found the neon annihilator. So I, I had two refs first, oh. so I bought it, so I don't know if we're going to be counting one of those. Uh, I said this is my part. What I wanted to do is like have a different theme. Not theme, but like my head one was painted, my wartime one strange, my formable favour is like a tiered cosmetic. The neon annihilate is genuine, the detonator is strange and the back one is vintage. So it's like a different thing for each one. That's pretty cool. No no. No 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 no. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, obviously I think we both agree that our sets fit the winter. Theme. Yeah, I was gonna do my own set because it comes under one uh, key, but I feel no, like that would be fun. too. Um, <laughs> but it's obviously not the unusual. I mean, like just genuinely. Yeah. And then all of the slots are filled as well. So yeah, that's another. Point. Apart from the action slot. Yeah. Um, so I add wait, check there we go. I add painted items all four points. Does it count for like one painted item? Uh. No, so, well, if all of the hats um, are painted, then you've got the points. Uh, I went for the head warmer specifically to get more points, and it's all of them as <laughs> one. Oh, man. Oh, I get no points on the cosmetic side. Weapons, strange weapons, two points, okay. It's got two points. Vintage weapons, one point. Genuine, three. So I've got six points there. Yeah. And then all slots filled, one point seven. Theme, which is winter. Um... And then so I've got, got ten one. points. Okay, so I th I think I might have won. <laughs> I think I might have won. Um, yeah, I've got probably. the four the four for the painted items. Uh, wait, maths is hard. Wait, three, five, seven for the weapons. So that's eleven, and then a, an extra three for the theme and the thing. So I think I have like fourteen points if I can do maths. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, this isn't gonna work. All right, so I went on points, unfortunately for you. How is the? What color is the Sub Zero suit painted? It's the old rustic color. I didn't even know it. It's the cheapest paint you can get, and that's the same color as the brown bomber. I really wanted to get more points in life. <laughs> well. It doesn't matter, because if people comment that mine's better, then I'll win. Yeah. So, so I mean, now it's just up to everybody else to kind of decide. Yeah. So, I mean... I wonder if anyone will know what the series is originally from. Hmm? I wonder if anyone will know the first episode, of, like, over a year ago. People, I don't know how many people have watched it. Yeah. It's over a year old now. Oh, God. This I got it. Yeah. This was meant to be, like, a sort of regular series when it came out. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. I'd love to do stuff like this a little bit more. I didn't realize my audio was so messed up at the end. On Discord, it sounded fine. Dicey didn't say anything to me about it sounding quiet. I didn't think I was talking quietly either. So, I mean, I guess that's just messed up. But I tried to mess with the audio levels a bit so you can hear me as well as you can hear Dicey. But either way, let me know in the comments, who do you think? has actually won this. Which set looks better and which one would you give the prize to if there was one? So also, I would like to make this thing a regular series now. Now that we're back into it and we do have the next episode or this episode ready and finished and stuff like that, let me know who you would like to see on this series. Now, if you haven't seen the first episode, Pyro Joe was actually in that before he hit a thousand subscribers. So I mean, that was about a year ago, over a year ago now. And yeah, so I don't think we can have him on again. Maybe in the future we can have him on once we've got a few more guests. But I don't know. I've got a few people that I'd like to get on this anyway. And I've got, I've talked to them a little bit about it. So hopefully some of you guys will suggest the same people. 
But yeah, let me know what you thought about this video. Honestly, it's been a long time since I made something like this, so I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it and how I wanted it to go again. But I'm gonna try and get a formula created for this so I know what I'm doing and I can make it a little bit better for you guys to, to watch and stuff like that. But I hope you did enjoy it anyway. And yeah, I'm sorry this took a year to come out. It didn't take me a year to make it, but I kept forgetting about it. And yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, as I've said about a million times now. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye. I won't quit the elephants. Rolling, rolling.